everything is just copacetic at the moment. Um, still, still a bit of commotion in the ocean, so to speak, but there's good things going on, and uh, we'll discuss. <laughs> I mean, it's more uh, uh, my speed. You know, L.A. is, you know, the town of bullshit. And, you know, you can only spend so much time bullshit. That's why everybody moves out of L.A., even if it's as, if it's as far as Pasadena, you know. Uh, but so be it. Vegas is brilliant. It's more uh, to where we're at and to where we will be creating these wonderful projects and ideas presented to you.
taking longer to shut off than it is to turn on. Well, that's a goose. interview and with that interview we did like a special on anybody who purchases anything from the website right now they would get a free signed cd during the course of that show or actually i did it for 24 hours so that was like a ton i actually got in a little bit from my head so i had to pull out uh, quite a few of these cds i gotta pull them out get them signed and that's all just a gift to the fans for listening to that really cool interview and then these are orders, and then these are uh, orders, and then we do, uh, excuse my knife, we do the VIP order, which is a signed shirt, usually the lip shirt, and a signed uh, picture, and then the signed CD. So now my shit together, I got stuff back here, I've got my studio stuff that I need to, this has got to be bothered. of rap videos and stuff there's like different versions like well this is actually an album here one of my albums as that is is this yeah but these are like outtakes nobody rides We 
used to like go, okay, everybody, bring, put your songs all on a tape, and then we'll call it Steve's tape, Robin's tape, Juan's tape, and then Bo would pick the best songs out of all of these tapes, the Steven tape, Warren tape, all of our tapes, and we would have a record, we'd go into pre-production. Also, he has the through live shoes, and this is a Stephen Piercy Top Fuel shoes, Top Fuel Records. And this is like a high-end collector item. They're made in Italy. Everything is hand-sewn. The leather is made. And like Those are like a real high-end collector's thing from Stephen. He's got some new ones coming out. And then back to this, he has so many of these original magazines from the day, back in the day. And uh, we're going to start having those up for auction, signed, and the whole bit. So, lots going on. Oh, wow. Let's beat the shit. Interesting. that there's great swag, great merchandise, custom shoes with the live shoes uh, designed by myself. There's great uh, Art Deco uh, at official Stephen Piercy, much artsy, 60s, 70s, groovy, uh, designed by uh, Miss Truth Adair. Uh, but official stephenpiercy.com. There's way cool shit in there. Go check it out. Great furniture, this, that. Uh, and that's it. So go. Is that one like, do you like that one or no? Yeah, I like that this one? bigger one. That's all right, I'll use it. Go that on. one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, first one. Yeah. Shelly. S-H-E-L-L-I. All right, what Shelly?
friend. Um, hey, look, your girl says, uh, don't sweat the small stuff, my friend. Uh, there's a better year coming. And she loves you. She loves you, my friend. Um, anyway, wish you guys a belated Christmas. Wish you a happy new year. And all that groovy shit in between. Um, here you're a big rat fan, brother. Well, uh, I'll give you some advice. If you think you're tough, step it up. Like she says, don't sweat the small stuff. There's a great year ahead. You guys love each other like I got it. All right, kids. Peace out. Take care of each other. Turn it out. Cameo. I like it because I step outside of the box instead of like just grabbing the whatever cash you know i like you know i like the give me a pep talk or my my buddy's sick or or you know i have a couple people now and i actually keep in touch with them and i think it's brilliant because it whatever gets them through the day you know because a real close friend of mine is going through cancer and he lives like every day today which means if he doesn't have some kind of something in him the guy will be dead the next day so understanding those theatrics, it's good, not just for, and per se, fans, uh, friends, you know. I think it's great to uh, put out there, you know, and, and like, hey, how you doing, man? You feeling better, you know? Uh, but I love them. I, I like them, you know. People expect me to play more guitar now, which is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, but I, I think it's a good a good trip. I use it differently. It's not just for an ego stroke or give me your cash, so to speak. But it's kind of cool. I like it. items that end up eventually being sold are refurbished over and over again. This used to be the Eat Me jacket, and he has so many pictures that it say Eat Me. So under there, it's now, uh, it's under the wrap patch. So that's what's fun when we do the collectibles, because fans or collectors, they get these unique items that have had so many uh, overhauls. So kind of cool. Like a surprise. Like, oh, that jacket was this jacket too. So here's what we got when we pack for a small trip, which this is driving. And I just got my shoes, same good years I've had for years and years. Good year racing shoes for my stage shoes, a couple t-shirts, smokes, candy, jewelry on a cheap bag that's on a plane, goes up top too, but I like it. There's nothing to it. And then, um, of course, I'm going to pick some sunglasses uh, for me. And then my dog tag, who's been with me forever, Skunk. Oops, there he is. So he rides with me forever. He's been going for years, like 20-something years. And the belt, heavy metal, heavy metal, heavy. And this guy is great right here. But I got something better. Let's go see him. Go like this. this. Or I can go like this. And of course, I think I would end up wearing this guy because it's a New Year's Eve. Why not? All right, and then some gloves because it's gonna be cold. Okay. And then we'll get to the good stuff later. But oh, okay, here we go. Next, first up would be pants, right? Which pants should we wear? These are my Hold favorite. Those. 
or I can go early 80s, like 81, 2, and... Those are like the ones in that, the, yeah. your book, no, not the book. In that old photo, yeah, I forget. or... These are favorite. And, and she show. makes the lovely clothes for me, <laughs> Christy Adair right there. And these I like. I don't know why they 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 uh, go to they shoot good, yeah. no matter what. And it looks like studs, and they're not. And it's really cheap material. My my sack and breathe. And <laughs> and they're just raggedy. I like them. They're all ratty. So these I'm gonna definitely put in there. And oh, and then we got these guys. These are my favorite, but he doesn't quite like them, and I have to reconfigure them anyway. Yeah, they're too heavy, but. But they look really good, and photos. Yeah, they're great, but they're thick. It's I gotta thick. put a new. Yeah, so I think. Hold that. Fragile piece. Right here. Here's my mom's belt. God bless her. She gave this to me. At a, she got it from a garage sale. She got two. Eric has one, and I do. And they're so old. And I. Huh? No, I went to Eric. And uh, I wear it every show. And as you can see, it's been band aided together, glued tape and it's still my favorite belt i have to wear it every show it's like good luck because my mom gave it to me you know what i'm saying yeah thanks mom thanks mom yeah. all right well, i designed that reach for the sky uh merchandise shirt ages ago we'll reach for the sky 87 or something i don't know but anyway, I love this always, and I put it on there. It goes over something else, right? Eat That's me. what I was just talking about, yeah. It goes over even uh, she put on there. Mm -hmm. and uh, But anyway, I added just a little classic, don't you know who I am? I you have to look real close. So this is going to definitely go. Yeah. And then we got a couple vests. Yeah, this will definitely go, and it'll fit. So this is badass. It's her. Christy did the custom sew job and the shoulder, the rig, and put the rat and roll. We just took it off the shirt, obviously. A day in the life of getting ready for a show, kids. Rip. Okay. What do we got here? Um. What do you think? All right, well, I'll, let's go hardcore, huh? Then, then I whip this fucker out and crack you if you get too close. It's a oh. bat, bat, bat. But it's pretty brutal. These are my mic knuckles. Available soon, kids. I took them out of place. They're being copied. Next, you know, even back in the day, we didn't travel as good. Or <laughs> overpack. Lean and mean. But yeah, lean and mean machine. So that's it, kids. A day in the life. Getting ready to hit the road. It smell good. Oh, it smells good. That's got to count. <laughs> what is it? It's not enough. So you smell good, John Barbados. That smell good. You need to be a model for John Barbados. John Barbados. See where it's at, kids. Back then, you didn't have the cell phones or the, you know, the app map, and you didn't have all these things, so you had to stop. So it's kind of, it's kind of cool to think, actually think that it, it was part of everyday routine. You know, you got your good tour manager, oh, we've got to make a stop, uh, make sure the gigs go. <laughs> Until you get to the level of, uh, here's the 80, 90 arenas you're gonna play, whether you like it or not. Hey, there's like 14 in a row. All right. And now you don't do that. You stay in nice places as you can, and, and you pretty much, we pick and choose, and we choose to do uh, the bigger festivals, the bigger shows. And, you know, we'll see what happens there. But we're out and about touring, and it's, it's way cool. So, Great to get in the car and and uh, the first song playing is Stephen's song. <laughs> Stephen and I were crazy, man. Uh, I've never even thought of that. We, 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 we started off just as a cover band and just went from that to 
starting to do originals and we did all the start doing all the clubs in San Diego and we just realized like around late 79 that we, we, nothing was going to happen in San Diego and Stephen was like listen man we got to move to LA if we're going to do anything and I was like oh really so we'd be out Back in that day, you know, there's no social media, so the only way to get your shit out was with a staple gun and a pile of flyers, right? So, so we had our we had our flyers and stuff, and it'd be like, you know, it'd be like half a dozen thick on the telephone poles. Everybody stapling, you know, over everybody else's. So we'd go out. I'd jump out of the car, you know, Steve would be driving or the other way around or whatever. I'd jump out, and um, what happened is uh, I got, I got, I got pulled over. We got, I got pulled over and I got a ticket for doing that. And I didn't, I just, you know, I was like, what, 22, 23. So I just, ah, fuck it. I never did anything about it. Well, one day. They came, they came to our house, the detective came to our house and said, you're under arrest. I'm like, what? Yeah. So I spent a night in jail for, for putting up. <laughs> no!
Stephen Cage. Right now, yeah. This is how you make the sausage. The sausage is being made. Brand new. Brand new. For the fit, for the lady fan. Oh. Today, February 11th, 2022, at the world famous Whiskey A Go Go here in West Hollywood, California. And, uh, this is sound check. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the band is here. Steven's already been here to check things out. And now went back to his room. And, uh, and then we'll go through this. Doors open at 6 o'clock here. Very early. There's six bands. A lot of bands. This is the, probably the most famous bar on the Sunset Strip and uh, one of the most famous bars in the world. World famous Whiskey A Go Go. Um, all the bands, Van Halen, uh, Molly Crew, Matt got the start here. But also, uh, for me, The Doors. The Doors is the big one, legendary band that started here. All my favorite punk bands also. The Moans and Harper has played here. Everyone's played um, the whiskey at some point. Hey! Hey! Ha! Feeling very copacetic. We're trying to be healthy individuals, and uh, that's it. You know, uh, whatever you're handed, you deal with, and I am dealing with it just fine.